Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's attack the multiplication with 6. Here we notice if we look at the multiplication table that there's something in common with the left column and the right column. Look at the answers and notice that the first one ends in a 6, so does this one. The second one ends in a 2, so does this one. The third one ends in an 8, so does this one. The fourth one ends in a 4, so does this one. And the last one 30, which is half of 60, but they both end up in 0. So you recognize when we multiply times 6, the numbers always end up in a 6, a 2, an 8, a 4, or a 0. And they're all even. Now we still need to memorize them by rogue memorization. We still need to go through the table and try to memorize all the numbers one by one. 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18, 6 times 4 is 24, 6 times 5 is 30, 6 times 6 is 36, 6 times 7 is 42, 6 times 8 is 48, 6 times 9 is 54, and 6 times 10 is 60. You should try to memorize it just like that. But there's some tricks. If you forget one, how do we get that number? How do we get the answer? Well, for the first two, it's fairly straightforward. 6 times 1 is 6. You know, and time you multiply times 1, you get the same number back. And 6 times 2 is 2 times 6, which is 2 of them, which means it's 12. The next one, 6 times 3, you know it should end up in an 8. And what number goes in front of that? Well, it's still 1 because when you add to 12, if you add 6 to 12, you still get a number less than 20, so it's going to be 18 in this case. The next one ends up in a 4, but if you add 6 to 18, you get something more than the teens. So now you're in the 20s, so the answer would be 24. 6 times 5 is half of 60, therefore you get 30. And 6 times 6, you take the previous answer, the halfway answer, 30 is half of 60, and you add another 6 to it because you know that it ends up in a 6. The next one needs to end in a 2, and I know that by then you're in the 40s, so this becomes 42, and then you add another 6 to the 2, you get an 8, you're still in the 40s. 6 times 9, I always like to go 6 times 10 minus 6, so 6 times 10 is 60, minus 6 gives me 54, and 6 times 10 is equal to 60. And that's how I'm able to figure out those numbers very quickly, by quickly remembering in the order and how they go. Ends in a 6, ends in a 2, ends in an 8, ends in a 4, and you get 30. Ends in a 6, ends in a 2, ends in an 8, ends in a 4, and I get 60. And that's how I memorize how I multiply with the number 6. And that's how it's done.